Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome all of you to Thai Trust Livestream Lunch for Smart Technology in Taiwan, Woodworking Machinery. Taiwan External Trade Development Council is Taiwan's foremost nonprofit trade organization with 63 offices worldwide. We help Taiwanese manufacturers to export their products abroad through exhibitions, trade missions, and marketing. Many greetings from all of us here in Taiwan. With the advent of IIoT, or Industrial Internet of Things, also known as Industry uh, 4.0, there's a lot of talk about automation, connectedness, and increasing of efficiency. So this is the reason today we brought five companies that will tell you about the Industry 4.0, how they are helping their customers achieve this. Uh, especially, we had the privilege to uh, welcome our first speaker, Mr. Michael Chang. He's the CEO of Leader Mac Machinery Company Limited, and he's also the chairman of Taiwan Woodworking Machinery Association, or TWMA. Uh, and also, Mr. Cliff Chang, he's the GM of Sterling International Company Limited. They, too, will be speaking to you more about the Industry 4.0. So with that, I would like to first play a video from Mr. Michael Chang, uh, Leader Mac Machinery Company. The Leader Mac Machinery Company was founded in 現在已成為一家世界級的試驗報製造商本公司所生產的是木器的四面包木器不論是在千段、中段、後段都需要它來做成製品我們目前已經制定一個標杆不論是在設定機器上面機械裡面也有智慧的元素這是我們公司引以為
roughly 700 unit of a full size motor per year. Roughly until right now, for the last 50 years, we produced about uh, 15,000, over 50,000 machines all around the world. And then the last year turnover is about 35 million US dollar. And next, so uh, also uh, all of the uh, machine machinery we are produced in Taiwan, 100% produced in Taiwan, and also some parts, uh, some important parts that we import from the Germany, France, and then the Japan. I meaning uh, uh, electric parts, right? We are meaning use the uh, 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 German parts, which like uh, uh, Siemens or Schneider. Next. Of course, uh, we are uh, also uh, is uh, uh, is uh, R it's a very we have a very uh, strong team on R and D team. So um, since uh, 1996, we join every uh, show in Taiwan woodworking show. We are uh, making a woodworking uh, competition. So since since 1996 until 2018, every time of the Taiwanese show, right? We also get uh, some of the outstanding product award or distinguished product award. So that, that means that we are uh, out, we are very strong on the R and D. Next, also we we are uh, right now is the interna international uh, sales company and produce company. And then uh, right now for the four side motor, we are second uh, largest producer in the world. So we need to provide a globalization service, which is uh, parts uh, uh, available all the time, and also keep out all our parts in the in in the stock. Of course, uh, global sales service. We service customer at global scale with leader mix uh, authority agents around the world. And leader mix sales and application engineer provide a comprehensive uh, of uh, service. Next, uh, we are proud of our uh, modern. R&D uh, network in spite of a uh, mechanic and, and then uh, electric and en uh, engineering. So that means uh, AB member and Lila Mac uh, react in response to meet custom request and demand right away, which is benefit not only you, but also your company. So that means that you, when you, you have special need, we can um, provide very fast answer and reaction. Next. Of course, we are joining uh, many many trade shows around the world, which is like Ligna, Atlanta, and then uh, Japan, and also uh, 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 Shanghai, the major trade show around the world. And then to show in the, every time to show in the better technique and show in the better function, and also uh, communication with customer, which can provide a very uh, uh, improve all the time. Next. And leader make also uh, also uh, presentation with uh, themselves. We every three years we presentation ourselves in our uh, headquarter in Taichung. So as as well as uh, uh, just showing customer the better technique, better latest uh, 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 technique uh, to service the customer. Next. So our future develop, develop developing goal right is uh, from the touch traditional machinery, we can go into the smart machinery. And from ma smart machinery, we can go into the uh, industry of 4.0. Next. Which we, we, we right now developing about uh, two years ago, we are called a dream set, uh, which we provide a, a, a 4.0 on the machine, on the system, which you just can use your iPhone, iPad, or your regular laptop or computer, you can see easier production, what's going on in the production, including the, uh, the product output, and then the um, uh, uh, changing line, the time of, of the time of uh, uh, changing line, uh, and also the efficient of employee, and also the lives and the using of a, of a cutter. So we. It's called train set. It's our industry 4.0. We have six, we have six uh, section, which is uh, delta collection, delta storing, delta analysis, delta sharing, and cross platform applications and management center. Next, 
the so storage, right? Uh, connects are collect by data storage will be stored in the SQL server. Next, the data analysis, uh, you can uh, analysis the current the situation, what's going on right now. Uh, at this time, you can just uh, just uh, detect uh, the, 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 the machinery or production update right now. Next. And you also can, can analyze it from the history last month, uh, last year, or last week, what's the, the production or, or machine performance from, the, from here. Next. And also, also if you, have, you can also data uh, sharing uh, through the mature web age technology, the system can assess the screen of platform through the browser as long as the device is available. Next. And also, uh, we can use the cross uh, application. As I say, you can from the iPhone, iPad, uh, or laptop collect uh, all information. Next. Uh, we are using the main center from your machine warning system, uh, machine uh, before, be before downtime, before changing the cutter, they give you all information by the mail. OK? So, uh, so next. Anyway. Uh, this is uh, Industry 4.0, give a uh, give, uh, manufacturing uh, hope. So I wish uh, everybody can follow the industrial uh, trend to go. And thank you very much for your listening. Thank you. Th thank you very much, Michael, for your uh, presentation and also the video. Uh, we have heard that Leader Mac is a, a leader in world-class four-side molder manufacture and also the how, how they are involved with Industrial 4.0. So thank you very much once again. And our next speaker is Mr. Ding Zhuang. He's the sales representative for Innovator Machinery Company Limited. And uh, he will tell us about their company products, especially focusing on the veneering machine, manuf as, as a veneering machine manufacturer. Let's play the video first. Thank you for the video. And uh, now, uh, Dean, I, let me give the floor to you. Hello, everyone. I'm Dean Chung, the sales representative from Innovator Machinery. Uh, it is our factory site. It's located in Taichung City. Next. Our company was established in 2002, and in 2007, Starby Industrial became our partner, the top market share in USA and UK for veneer guillotine. In 2015, we sold the first smart veneer based production line. Next. Until last year, 2019, we sold over 1,200 machines over 50 countries and reach 20% of global market share. The mania can be applied in many areas, like in panel furniture, decor interior design, door, musical instrument like speaker, piano, guitar, and vehicle interior like car or boat interior. Zigzag is traditional way for jointing. Veneer are folded by hard made glue thread. After hard pressing, it may create gaps between veneer, and this may result in more workload to repair. Next. 
compared to new technology, but joint, there are some advantages. Splicing veneer without splitting after hard pressing. Also can splice thinner veneer to 0.3 millimeters and minimize workload in repairing. Next. Longitudinal veneer splicer model veneer plus G1, the best selling splicer in our company. Blue applies at the edge of the new edge veneer strip, which increases the strength of the glue joint. Thickness of veneer strip starts 0.35 to 1.5 millimeters. Minimum length is 350. Minimum width is 40. The capacity per ship from 300 to 500 square meters per, per ship. The average speed is 20 meters per minute. It's suitable for the high-end furniture and the creative industries. The CrossFit veneer splicer model ultimate series. It is our high performance splicer machine. It produces high productivity, which can reach to 3000 square meters per ship. The length, length of veneer strip from 450 to 4000 millimeters. Minimum width is 75. The thickness of veneer strip is from 0.3 to 3.5. This splicer machine has two splicing models, fixed length and fixed joint. Next. Single knife veneer guillotine model cut mat series. The cutting length from 2800 to 4000 millimeters. The cutting height is 120 and single veneer thickness can up to 2.5. 150 white pack beam, which can fully under press veneer bundle for cutting. Two handle operation can avoid accident. Second cut technology for perfectly square veneer edges. For double knife veneer guillotine model cut mat stitch series, another high performance veneer cutting machine. It can cut the veneer bundle from both sides at the same time in a single step. The cutting length is from 2800 to 4000 millimeters. The cutting height is 80. The cutting range can up to 650. And movable laser line indicate whether the real knife we are cut in the initial position. Next. So, for veneer processing procedure, firstly, cutting veneer bundle both sides in accurate width. Secondly, gluing both sides evenly. Thirdly, fanning veneer bundle to avoid sticking. And the last step starts Splicing from single veneer to veneer face. Next. From the side shows the whole smart production line layout. Begin from double knife veneer guillotine to cut both edge accurately, then in feed veneer for gluing and fanning. In veneer automatic transfer system, transfer pre glued veneer bundle. First in, first out for spicing. After spicing, edge reinforcing device is the last step for tapping the near face and trimming both sides. Next. Therefore, for whole smart production line can make up to 3000 square meters per eight hour shift for 1,000 pieces for 4 by 8 veneer face. Next. Compared to traditional, to reach same capacity 3,000 square meters, total needs 8 to 10 operators to handle whole production line. Next.
And compared to smart production line, it only needs two or up to three operators. Next. Therefore, smart production line is not only reducing labor costs, it also can minimize the breakage of vernier phase by hand carry. Next. Last few years, we are actively attend many international exhibitions, like in Germany, India, China, and USA. And this is end of my presentation. For more machine details, please feel free to contact us or visit our website, www.innovatormachinery.com, or you can scan by our QR code. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Dean, for your very clear presentation. And we saw how your veneering machines can help everything to be much more efficient, uh, fully automated. And uh, so thank you very much again. And uh, now I would like to remind, remind the, uh, our watchers worldwide to look at the top of your screen. You can see the, the QR code for Slido. Slide, please scan the QR code and uh, put uh, any questions that you may have. First, remember to put the, the who are you addressing the question to, uh, which company, followed by your question, and also your company email. Uh, at the end of our fifth speaker, we'll have th all, all of them p sp uh, only pick one question, which they will answer. But if yours is not picked, don't worry, because they'll answer you through email. So please uh, take a little bit of time now to look at Slido and uh, the QR code there. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, now I'd like to welcome our next speaker, Mr. Mike Liu. He's the technical engineer of Guangyong Machinery. Guangyong is the second woodworking manufacturer in Taiwan from 1960. So they have been in this industry for a very long time. And uh, they will tell us about their sawing machines. Uh, I would like to share a video with you first. The worker placed the wood for one side edging. The other worker sends the wood back and wait for the other side edging. The second time edging needs to adjust the fence. And then rip the other side. The wood feeds in from the sideway. The operator simply just put the wood on the in feed table. The machine will scan the wood and send it to the fence. The laser lines showed the exact ripping position where the saw blades are. The wood will be fed in automatically. This can also avoid the wood kickback hazard. The fans will move for the best reaping yield by computer calculating. Woods can feed in one after another automatically. At the alpha side of the machine, the wood 
is perfectly ready for panel joining directly after ripping. You can join the panel directly without extra planning or edging one more time. Okay, thank you for the video. Welcome, Mike. Hello, my name is Mike from Kuangyong Machinery. Today I'm going to talk about the smart machinery. Next. I'm going to talk about the background of our company. We're the second woodworking manufacturer in Taiwan around 1960. In 1995, the first time to participate in Ligna Hanover in Germany. In 2002, acquired German tooth ISO 9001 certification and start manufacturing smart machine. In 2007, begins technical cooperated with the United States and UK that improves technology and promotes machine performance. Next. In 2019, the first 3D image scanning rip saw system was sold in Asia. Machine sold to over 50 countries in the whole world. The main products are sawing machines such as rip saws and cutoff saws including more than 70% of CNC controls. Next. This is the machine that I'm talking about, named Skewed. Its cutting rate is up to 5 to 6 pieces per minute and 7 to 10% higher yield than conventional gang rip saw. Automatic fence skew device and easy operation without skilled technician. Next. Another type of machine that provides higher productivity is also available. This machine rips up to 10 to 12 lumbers per minute. Next. For 3D scanning system, we use top and bottom high definition cameras to tell the wood knot and the weighing edge of the wood. Next. We are going to show you the comparison of the calculating between a worker and the computer. You will see a 328 mils board in width for both examples. Next. To sell a better price, the operator will naturally reap the widest first in the list as 250 mils, since the price is the best in the list. And then the rest will be 45 mils and 33 mils. The total price you can sell for this wood is $379. Next. For optimized saw, the computer will put different combinations in and do the calculation to obtain the best price for this board. Instead of ripping 250, the computer rips 170, 110, and 45 mils. The total price now comes to $420. Next. Optimized saw gets $420, which is 10.8% higher than $379 of the worker. Computer calculation provides 7 to 10% more yield comparing to human brain calculating in average. Next. As you can see on the left hand side in the red frame, the shape of the wood will show up in the screen. The red lines on the board are the ripping position. The ripping width for this wood is shown on the right hand side in orange frame at 74 74 and 88. The blue frame in the middle is the dimension list. You can enter the desired ripping width for either fixed width or random width. The value for each width provides the data, so the machine will optimize your cutting list. Next. The machine also provides the report, including raw material dimension statistics, 
product quantity, such as length, width, area, cubic meter, yield, cost analysis, and operating time, etc. The red frame shows the information of wood, and the blue frame shows the time of processing. This is a very convenient tool for managing the production, inventory control, and cost calculation. Next. All right, that's all for my presentation. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, as we have heard from Mike, so they, they uh, Guang Yong is focused on the different types of sawing machines and they 7 to 10% in yield. Wow, quite impressive. So also, as you have heard, so far three companies and uh, many of them, if you need to know what certifications they have received, for example, um, Mike has, they, their company, Guangyong, has received the TÜV and ISO 9001. So if you need to know th their international certifications, uh, later on we'll give you a questionnaire where you can, uh, how, on how to reach them. I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Next, I'd like to uh, welcome Mr. Cliff Chang. He's the general manager of Sterling International Company Limited, and he will share with us their automation equipment for glue laminated timber production. Welcome, Cliff. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Cliff Chen. I'm the general manager of Sterling International Taiwan. Today with great honor and present to present you the automation equipment for glue laminated timber production in our woodworking machinery industry. Next. So today I'm going to introduce you uh, the COT and the glue lamp. So I, I will have the layout of the manual and automation, plus the actual benefit analysis. Next. So traditionally we have the uh, machinery, and nowadays we need to further develop the software in order to integrate smart machinery to reach industrial 4.0. Next. So the left side photo is the CLT, as a cross laminated timber, and right side photo is the glue lamp, glue laminated timber. So a CLT is normally used for the wall and the floor panel, and glue lamp is normally used for the beam and post in the wooden house or outdoor facility. Next. So here we can see a manual production line uh, with nearly 37 people, so it's a very high density labor layout. Next. And here we can see this layout is a fully automatic uh, blue lamp production line. It is divided into zone A, B, C, and D. So each zone is being integrated and connected with a, a roller case and bell conveyor. Next. Our station one is the first machine. This is with the robot loading and, lo and loading timber. This machine can scan the QR code of the timber pack and it can move up and down and bring the material into the optimizing color of saw automatically. Next. So we can see this uh, optimizing color of saw. It can minimize the waste and also do the optimizing according to the length of the production required and send to the next machine, finger jointer. Next. Uh, this is quite heavy duty finger jointer for structure timber. The infill length could be three meter maximum and after the two shaping doing the cannon amortizing and we use the assembly press to join into 13 meter lamella. Next. After the finger joint, uh, we need to uh, dress and plan the foresight of the timber uh, in order to do the uh, face lamination. This machine can go up to 100 meters per minute. Next. Uh, after the high-speed planner, we use uh, material handling to fit every lamella into this uh, automatic rotary press. This press weighs about 70 tons. It's a very big press, and it can do 13 meter long by 1.2 meter wide, 
by 250 mil height. So we use a uh, PUR glue in order to have a mass production because PUR glue's open time is only 15 minutes. So this machine has four sections. So eventually it has required about one hour. Then you send to the next machine for a double side planner. Next. Uh, after the phase elimination, uh, normally we have glue coming up from top and bottom of the beam. So we need to use this double side planner to clean it. Next. Uh, in order to uh, double the production, we can uh, use a band resaw in order to uh, split from a half of the beam so uh, we can uh, double our capacity. Next. Uh, this is a very big beam planner. Uh, it can do also uh, 1.2 meter wide by 250 meter height. Uh, it can do not only the straight beam, but also the camber beam. So no matter how curved the beam is, we can use this machine to process. And if you need also to chamfer the four side corner, we can also have computerized to set it up. Next. Uh, finally, this is the beam saw. This is the end of the list line. So after the beam has been produced into 13 meter long, uh, we can cut it off uh, into like six or seven or eight meter according to customer's uh, order and demand. Next. Uh, this is a fully automatic central control system and it connect with the customer's ERP. So from customer's ERP, we can send all the recipe and data to our central PC. From our central PC, we're gonna send this signal to every individual machine. So every machine can adjust automatically and collecting all the statistics and also do the optimizing the production and uh, uh, we can reach the industrial 4.0. Next. So this picture also clearly shows that uh, the PC can send signal to every working station so they can communicate interactively without any problem. Next. Uh, this is actually a customized production process. Every customer's factory and building could be different size, like the length or the width and height. So we can do all the customized uh, layout for every customer according to their different production capacity and number of machine required. Next. So here's a chart for the manual and automatic comparison. So here we list out uh, the manpower management, product, quality, safety, working time. So for the automatic version, it is always much better and get better benefits than the manual. Next. So the glue, glue and production balance base, we can maximize the production capacity plus the minimize the waste timber control. And when you have the small or medium or big order, we can combine all together and produce in the same time. Uh, so eventually, uh, we use uh, this PUR glue. It will be quite safe, and uh, no toxic glue, glue lamp will be produced. Next. I uh, thank you for your listening and attention. Uh, the above is my presentation for the automation of glue lamp production. Uh, Next, I'll show you the video to help you understand better. Thank you.
thank you very much, Cliff, for your presentation and also for sharing that video. As we have heard, because uh, Sterling offers uh, th many different types of automation equipment, so that video really helped to, uh, for us to see what th the whole process looks like. If you have more questions for Cliff, you, uh, let me remind you of the Slido again. This, you can find the QR code on the top and uh, scan this QR code and uh, just ask your question to wh which company followed by your question and also by uh, your email address so that we know how to contact you or get back to you. Uh, Slido was um, made with the idea of events for large events when people have questions. So this is a very good application for you to use if you have any questions. And uh, our last speaker for today is Mr. Kai Chan. He's the senior sales for Anderson Industrial Corp Corporation. It was established since 1972, and he's going to tell us about their CNC machinery or Anderson's fully automated processing line. Welcome, Kai. Hi, everyone. I'm Kai from Anderson. Today, I'm going to introduce Anderson's latest automated development for panel furniture the Anderson Fully Automated Processing Line. Next. And here's the outline of my presentation. Next. Next. Anderson is established in 1972. After almost 50 years development, uh, Anderson has become an international group and provides high quality CNC solutions. Next. And right now, we have five brands in our group for different industries. Next. And this is Anderson's milestone for your reference. Next. As an international group, uh, we have eight manufacturing sites and uh, 12 subsidiaries around the world. Next. So why Anderson develop uh, automatic machinery for panel furniture? Next. Next. So Solu was the main material for furniture in the last 20 years. But the, the delivery time is long and the size always fixed. Also, it's expensive compared to panel furniture. Next. And the panel furniture, uh, it's with affordable price and it can be de delivered fast. Also, the size and the color can be customized. So this make the Panel furniture, the most popular material for furniture now. Next. And in the last couple of years, the most popular way to produce panel furniture is using panel saw. Normally, you will need two panel saws and four operators for production. Next. But with Anderson automated processing line, you will only need one operator for whole system. Next. So here's the efficiency between Anderson automated line and the panel saw. With panel saw, it can produce 70.5 sets of cabinet in eight hours. But with Anderson, it can produce 96 sets. This can improve production, also save a lot of labor cost. Next. Features of automated machinery processing line. Next. And this is the overview of the full system. And uh, I will explain how each portion of this system work in following pages. Next. Here is the multi-bunk loading system. This is for automatically loading material onto infit conveyor and the feed to another process. Next. And this is auto labeling system is to do labeling on material. You can see the example of label on this page. Label contains a lot of information for each part. Next. And here's the CNC processing center. It's able to do cutting and drilling on material. And this covers 80% of panel process work. Next. The pelletizing system. This is for automatically pick up and unload the material to stock zone. Next. Next. So how the full system work? There are three sides of this system, the application side, IoT, and the equipment side. 
and all these three sites are con connected and communicate by internet. Next. And uh, this full system is operating by cloud base. For the management side, it's able to check utilization rate. And for operate, operation side, it's able to monitor in production. For services side, it's able to monitor in machine condition and also do the instant troubleshooting. Also, there are two key features for our cutting spindle of this system. One is spindle status monitoring. The other one is anti-crash sensing system. These features are for expanding spindle to and the tool life, also prevent possible collision of spindle. Next. And this is the interface of our control system. It shows all the information related to production. Next. And Anderson has launched this system in mid of 2019. Until now, we already have three installations in the United States and the one in Canada. Next. Conclusion. Next. So we have received more and more automated technology requests to make customers' production more efficient. And we are confident to say Anderson is bringing automation to next generation. Next. And uh, this is my presentation. And uh, thanks for your attention. And uh, we have prepared a short video to, sh to show you guys how the full system works. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kai, for your video and also your uh, very clear presentation. Now, we would like to go into the Slido. Uh, if you haven't done so, you can still do so. On the, on the top of the screen, you can see the QR code. So you can type in, the again, your question. First, to who are you addressing your question, followed by your question, and also, in the end, uh, uh, your email address so that we may contact you. Uh, we'll also like now to invite the first uh, speaker, uh, Michael Chang, the, from Leader Mac Machinery Company Limited. Please let me remind every uh, speaker that we only have time for one question. So please share with us your question and also uh, your answer. Thank you very much. Oh, so what's the question? Uh, does anybody have it? Y yes, uh, do you see your questions on Slido? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so the question is, do you provide a whole line system in your company? Of course, uh, I do provide the whole system for customer during the last eight years. 
which is which is uh, the per, uh, product for the flooring, the product for the panel, the product for the uh, picture frame. So of course uh, the whole line equipment is depend on uh, custom need, and uh, if uh, they want to like a semi uh, semi automatic or automatic uh, with automatic with uh, uh, smart uh, element into the uh, industry 4.0. Uh, everything's possible, so it's up on your request. So, uh, ask me can provide a whole IC system. Yes, I do. Thank you very much, Michael. And okay. uh, next, uh, next speaker is Mr. Ding Zhuang from Innovator Machinery Company Limited. Yes, and um, I think the question is for after sales server. We have over twenty global dealers and each dealer can provide local service like the general general service and also our you know beta service team can provide full installation and also the after sales service yes that's all great thank you Dean and uh, Mr. Mike Liu from Guangyong yes I'm going to pick the question that how we upgrade the machine Okay, so our answer is, we will email you a zipped file enclosed in the email, and you, you can download and upload to your machine. And you can use it with your USB flash, or you can connect with your computer. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And uh, Mr. Cliff Chang, Sterling International Company. Yeah, um, to answer question of, uh, can we use uh, other glue rather than PUR glue in this uh, automatic uh, producing line? Um, basically, this is a question of yes and no, because uh, if you want to have high speed production and for every station of machine processing, uh, we need to uh, have very short open time and short uh, curing time also for a glue in order to do the right lamination. And uh, if you do uh, the, the more semi-automatic line, it is possible to use other kind of glue such as like a resource node uh, for structural timber. Yeah, that's my uh, answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cliff. And uh, uh, also for Mr. Kai Chan from Anderson. Uh, to answer Bill's question, uh, Anderson does offer uh, WeChat and also WhatsApp for instant message notification. And for this, the second question from Bill, uh, the delivery time to Turkey is probably uh, around five to seven months. Uh, depends on how complex the full system you need. Thank you very much, Kai. And uh, we know that there probably are many more questions because uh, you has a lot of information today. So remember that it's okay if you didn't receive an answer because we will be replying through to you through email. And uh, now I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Wood Taiwan 2021. It will take place here in Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center from April 21st to 25th. Uh, this is a four-day event. And uh, welcome to join us in uh, Taiwan next year for this exhibition that will focus on woodworking machinery. So most likely you will be meet many of our presenters and, or, and their company representatives in, in this show. So once again, the show is called Wood Taiwan 2021, and uh, it's from April 22nd to 25th. Uh, now I'd like to share with you the questionnaire. You can see the questionnaire on the right-hand side. So uh, use this QR code and uh, please remember to fill everything in and submit it to us so that we can send you today's presenters' presentations followed also with their contact information. So if you have any uh, specific uh, questions, you can all address to them. Uh, they will provide their friendly service. And uh, also um, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see Tight Trust 63 offices uh, the, uh, the QR code. So also, if you need us to, to be a reference uh, or contact, we're here to help you. Uh, now I'd like all of us to, the presenters, and just uh, 
wave, wave, and we would like to take a picture and uh, keep this as a good memory. Okay, uh, did we get the picture? Have we gotten the picture? Thank you all very much. Thank you. And uh, now uh, I would li like to also tell you that our next event is another live stream launch. We'll focus on optimize your business with Taiwan Smart Manufacturing. So this will be another session of uh, Smart Manufacturing here in Taiwan. Welcome to, to join us again on June 16. And uh, uh, I'd like to say once again, thank you very much. Please remember to submit a questionnaire. Uh, stay safe and uh, many greetings from all of us here in uh, Taitra, Taipei. Goodbye for now.